All right, we bought this game a long time ago. We played it a little bit in the beginning, but we are basically new to it. Not new to hunting, but new to this game. So let's see if we can make it some fun. Holy noise. My goodness, that was loud as all hell. All right, level 12, we're looking huge. All right, where are we? What do we plan on doing? We killed a bunch of animals. Figured out how to shoot them. Let's go over there. Is that the way I'm going? Yeah. All right, boys, and I don't know exactly what I'm doing with my weapon, but I have a weapon that classes are two to six. That's the starting weapon. I got a different scope for it, which is a little zoomed in, and then I got a different bullet, or I think that's the free bullets, but it's good for two to six, and then I got a 270, which is, I got the polymer tip bullet, because that seemed to have the best penetration, so I got it for the higher categories of monsters, and I got my bow, and I got big old heavy arrows on it, but I also have light arrows, medium arrows, and big, so just in case I come across a rabbit, or something in the middle like a deer, and then something like a bear or a crocodile, I can hopefully hit it, and I have this for one reason and one reason only. I went on somebody's Australia map and got murdered by a crocodile, so this is there for that. Otherwise, I have a couple calls that I don't really use that often, and I walk around with these binoculars and try and find things. You've got the hunter's sense. Do I? Follow those strikes. Let me know in the comments below if anything really dramatically changes when you level up to 60 or 65 or whatever the max level is in this game, because I feel like as long as you get close enough and shoot the animal a couple times. You can take out most of the animals, but I haven't played late game in this so far. It's a very satisfying game. You walk around, you hear the sounds, the sounds of the creatures, you see things. I'm playing in the Savannah map right now, which is a little more basic. There's a lot less theme to it. I mean, you see the heat wave, but when you're playing one of the forest maps or like Alaska, like I did this morning, it feels crazy. It feels like you're very immersed, which I think is one of the most important parts of a game like this. All right, and you'll notice I'm hunting specifically west. In my opinion, that little marker in the bottom right, it shows a line going behind me. I believe that's my scent. So I want to go this direction, at least just in my opinion, so I can sneak up on creatures without them sniffing me out. You'd be surprised how far away an animal can sniff out the Grim Reaper. Tracking your scent is very important for us Reapers. Animals can sort of sense death from far away. <coughs> All right, something's hanging out around here. We're fitting to find it. Yep, this is like a watering hole or something. What are you? Gemsbach, 40 to 60 meters. I can probably hit you with my bow. Alright, what we're gonna do here, bust out our bow, make sure we're using the correct ammo. And then we're gonna try to get this guy. I think I got him. Maybe not. But the good advantage of the bow is that we shoot fairly silently. You have to be very, very quiet. As I say that, I start gasping for air, of course. I'm hearing noises close by. I love how the giant Z arrow is telling me to sleep on some poop. And they blend in out here pretty good. Let's get out to this open area, see if we can pick something off out here. <laughs> Crocky, we're out here in the Savannah Desert. We found some droppings, but they look old. Alright boys, what I think we're going to do is we're going to head over towards this lake. Usually lakes have something, and if I get in there with a bow, I can hopefully sneaky shoot quite a few of them. Or at least one satisfying one. See, I feel to become a good hunter, you first have to become a good spotter. That was always the case with riflemanship, and now it's likely similar. Most of these game devs seem to design these style of games after, after realistic situations 
calling in hunters and experts and stuff like that. It was a warning call, so he might be running. This poor guy, I've spooked him a couple times. Striped jackal sticks to the woods and the scrap, scavenging from other predators or negligent campers. Unless fruit is in season. When there's fruit, that's all Mumbi eats. Consider them gentle predators. A gentle predator, I like that. Here we go, boys. We got within 25 meters of this little one. Got him. Yep. We'll wait, see if he flushes anything else out. That's the way he went, so let's, let's mark that. So we know where to go. And let's check, yep, he's dead. Okay. We get an ordinary walk. Now that we're tracking him, we're in our bow just in case something else shows its head. Tracking indicator. There's his blood. Yeah, sure. I wonder if those are real sounds of animals or if those are just like ambient noises. Fleeing, huh? What the hell was that? There's something out here that doesn't like me. There's the body. But what else is out here? Oh, this would be frustrating if I was chasing something alive. Ooh, look at that big boy. What is that sound? Are there storms in this game? All right, let's see. Where we get him? Right through the lung. Excellent. 23 meters. That's why I was aiming low. I knew he was closer than 40. All right. Good looking. Good looking prize. Let's head over to the river or the lake. Man, some of these game sounds are so loud. Nothing we see just yet. That's probably one of those icons I get some experience from, which would be good for somebody like me who plays for the excitement and enjoyment and not necessarily the rush down EXP. I think this game will give me a lot more fun if I just take my time and do it the way I feel like it's supposed to be done. Now, if I wanted to just go somewhere and farm EXP, I could figure that out relatively quickly. What are those? Blue Wildebeest, 300 meters. Tier 2, Tier 2. What's that little one? Tier 3. And they're already traveling because they're nervous. Whoa, that's a nice looking tree look at that thing there you go okay this looks like a fancy flag thing that's what i'm going with fancy flag thing yep that's what we're calling these fancy flag things this looks like a really good overlook maybe we'll light somebody up after this what is this water dictates pace of life in a savannah sometimes we have no rain for eight months sometimes even longer trees and grasses have dense root systems to survive when the rains do come everything blooms quickly taking advantage of the water while they have it in a feast of sights and smells during dry spells you may get some controlled fires okay that tells me water is important really important Wherever there's water, there's going to be a whole boatload of them. Which is ordinarily fairly normal for animals, but if it's that hit and miss, like tons of rain and then nothing, I would think they would make the animals here more obsessed with the water than anywhere else. Plan our in route. There's a couple brushes and trees here that there could be some guys in. Maybe some gembok. Let's go check it out. Ah, big old bushes that look like animals. Very good. Let's get a good overlay of the whole area so we don't walk down and spoil the surprise for somebody. What's that? A lion, you say? What does a lion require? Class 9 ammo. Oh, lord. There we go. Got him. Yeah, we're watching you, Lioness. You're going down. Watch the bleed. There you go. Now, this may seem paranoid, but just in case we run into something on the way that doesn't know we're here, I wanted to make sure we were able to mark where the body was so we can grab something else, chase something else if we need to, and then go collect the harvest. Because if you're going to hunt, use the meat. And even though our little virtual dude here can't eat the meat, I'm going to go eat some steak tonight and pretend it was a lion. Another one, 190 to 280. How about your friend? Class two, class three, okay. 200, so I'm gonna have to aim a little high. Gotcha, sorry friend, you drank it the wrong watering hole and your friend is booking it on you, good lord. 
Let's get you with those bee knocks. And then we'll get over here and harvest your friend real quick. There we go. There's the original shot. Vital organ hit. And here we go. No trophy. Improper animal. Oh, yeah. I guess I need heavier ammo. That's okay. Perfect shot. Yep. That one surviving lioness is like, oh, you guys would not believe the day I've had. Oh, we know lions are around. We'll switch back to our heavy bow. Or our heavy arrow. That's a fake duck. I'm telling you. Fake duck noise. Or whatever that noise is. This kind of land makes you paranoid. Like if I go for some water, am I going to get hit? And the beauty of this game is that if I were hunting this lioness in real life, this would be the dead ass last thing I would do. Traipsing around in the brush with a freaking pair of binoculars in my hands. Looking for the corpse, hoping it wasn't still alive. Absolutely zero chance. But in this game, if I die, I get to hit a little respawn button. So it works. Otherwise, keep yourselves off safaris, kids. Vital organ, obviously. Wrong ammo again. It says it's type 9. I had type 9, but guess not. I do the long. Excellent work. Beautiful specimen. If we have any more looky loos. Nah. Word's getting around. Yep. We gotta make our way towards that side of the lake. Word's getting around on this side of the lake. All the gossip, you know? I am not about to creep up on a lion all sneaky like. Alright. If we're walking in the brush, we're doing it the right way. The hunter has become the hunted. Alright, so we know this is where lions frequent on this side of the lake. So we know it's very unlikely for Gemsbach or any of the herbivores to be over here because they're probably getting scared off by the lions. There we go, there's a big boy. 310 meters. Let's see if we can creep a little closer before we take that shot. He's got his women around. He's relaxing with his big old mane. He don't care. Oh yeah, he's in the prime position to get taken out. Oh, that's gonna be a beautiful shot. He's just lounging by the beach. 250 meter, oh, perfect. Drinking water, hanging out. There we go. He's at about 280, 270, maybe even a little higher, 290. Wow, my guy can't breathe. My goodness, not a good shot. What's that? There we go. Got one. Here's another. Oh, dang it. You woke up your friend. Drinking need zone over here, huh? Not bad for the wrong bullet. There we are. Stacking bodies on the beach. Where's your boyfriend? Tell me, where is he? Fake duck. We'll give the water a little time to cool down. Pun intended, Gems Bach facing me. Not a good shot. Oh, another one. Ooh, not facing me too much. What are they all running from? It's just a herd running to my left? Okay, let's get over there. See, we can't get a whole herd of these things. Um, I'm not walking in those bushes when I hear a mating call. Nope, now they're running. Of course they are. Well, you're allowed to run away if you're trying to mate with me. Get out of here. Ooh, 300 meters. Get a little closer. We got a whole herd we can take out. Okay, we can make that shot, but we won't be able to make five of those shots. It's better to get much closer. We're getting close to 200. Trying to keep to the left so our smell doesn't hit their nose. Ah, now they're in the tree cover. Dang it. We're going to have to get a better vantage point. Dang, I'm going to have to run around this way and circle around on them from behind. Maybe if I was starving, but... Okay, you're already fleeing. No. I'll let you go because I have a whole herd over here. And you can smell me from that direction. It means I need to shower. Yes, I get it. Hey, little hair. There we go. The scrub hair. Like the savannah and the scrubs. Oh my gosh, this guy's talking to me about a scrub hair. I'm hunting they breed blue wildebeest droughts. over here. And we've had plenty of droughts, so you'll find them zigging and, gems and box. zagging all over. Gems box. I'll probably hit all these from here. I'll use my bigger rifle for the longer shot. I didn't lead him enough. I think I missed right. Got him on that one. Alright, let's see what we got.